What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another review video. This time it is for Mario Super Mario Brothers Wonder on the Nintendo Switch. This game just came out in 2023. This is going to be a multiplayer review. This time I have two reviewers with me on the channel to help me out. First one we have is Mars and you guys should know him. Mars, you want to introduce yourself and introduce your channel? What's up, man? Mars, aka Lazy James, aka Doc Yo, Lazy James, the channel, all the the stuff, uh, Twitter, gamer. I'm, I'm no, we'll have all my stuff down in the uh, description box. Yep, nice in the description box. And the next one we have here is Monaco. You want to introduce yourself and your channel? Okay. Um, hey everyone, my name is Divine Cummings, voiceover, also known as Monaco97, and I'm here to review Mario Wonder with Nintendo Gamer Cal here today. And we're happy to have them both on with us to talk about Mario Wonder. We are going to be splitting this review up in three different stages. We are going to be handling multiplayer co-op, multiplayer online, and Mars is going to take over single player for us because he did do a little single player on his own. Uh, so we are definitely going to give you a full walkthrough of Mario Wonder. We are going to first start with the story i'm gonna touch lightly and if any of you guys feel like i missed anything and you want to piggyback off of it just let me know so um the story of Mondo mario's they're always so simplified for me so for me i think we just got bowser doing his bowser thing again he's trying to take over the world he grabs Pl prince florence's wonder seed and he turns himself into a castle and he's trying to rule over all of the world all over the flower world, I think, is what it's called. Um, I believe. But that's... Yeah, that's it's, it's, it's like a new kingdom. <laughs> it's a new kingdom. It's the, it's the flower kingdom, right? That's what it's called? Yeah, I think, I think it's the flower kingdom. But, uh, so that's basic story. I mean, if I, if I missed anything, let me know. But I think the story is super basic when it comes to these platformer Mario games. Um, did I miss anything? No? no that's pretty much it. might be Wonder Kingdom. But other than that... That might be the Wonder Kingdom, yeah. But, yeah. yeah okay so um like i said basic story so we're gonna jump right into um the multiplayer and we're gonna start with first multiplayer online because that is how i first experienced mario wonder and um mars here jumped on to the multiplayer online with me um and tried it i to be fair thought it wasn't going to be very good but i ended up liking it but we're gonna let mars handle it a little bit and i'm gonna piggyback off of you go ahead mars take it away <laughs> all right so uh long story short if everybody remembers when the game was announced right it wasn't even gonna have what online multiplayer it was just gonna be you know the game but then there, there was some rough and it's like no no it's gonna have online don't worry about it the online comes out and then we find out that it's like ghost mode online right it's like mario kart ghost mode but in this thing in this in wonder so now me i ended up liking it. i thought i wasn't gonna like it i like the online experience because you have the, the players all around you you know you get you got to get onto the wi-fi you get on your wi-fi say hey, you want to play online yeah i want to play online so you get on wi-fi you know, you could, and then it's throughout the the what the mini map you can see them right. throughout the uh, the stage you can see them. So you see all these random. It's random people, but then you can have your friends too, right? To me, I wasn't bothered either way. So you get into the stage, you you, you jump in, and then you just you have your own screen. They can run off, they can go left, right. You have your own situation, and I like the the best part is the help. Now some people, oh, you can't ride them and all this and that. But with that, you have to share the same screen. So come sacrifices. And only one person can control where the screen is at out of four people. So with the online portion, you can go your own way. You can leave people behind. You can stick with a group and make sure they, they're making the jumps. You can put stickers down in case people start dying and give you little heart rewards. I think it's great. I like the online part. Some of the knocks were that, you know, you're not tangible to the other players in a sense, but if that helped with the DCs and stuff, I'm down with it. I, I rock with the online. Right. Um, I know for me, like, I thought I wasn't going to like it, right? I, I did like it, but there were things that I kind of wished were addressed. Like, I wish, like, if you... Because I... Like, you were telling me while we were streaming is that um, some of the ghosts look ghostier when they had wi-fi yeah, connection I forgot issues about that. Yeah, 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 right yeah. they looked a little thinner 
right? Yeah. Um, so I was hope I was wishing that like you could ask players that you knew, like you can see their connection because of how ghosty they are. You could ask yeah. those players to come <laughs> into your game, right? Because I did, I, and if anybody watched any, I did two streams of this game. And if anybody watched those streams, I can't hardcore parkour for anything, which is what you need in a Mario game. You need to be able to hardcore parkour. And I can't do it. I cannot hardcore parkour. So I did wish that I could bring, like, if I could see that their Wi-Fi is good, tap on the player, invite to the, invite to the end game. It would have been a nice like, all right, I see you don't have any connection issues. You want to rock with me? Let's tap on you. You can come in the game. That should have been... I wish that would have been something that was implemented because I I couldn't hardcore parkour by myself. So even though you guys were ghosts, you couldn't help me. You couldn't help me other than to put your little ping down when I yeah. fell and mm-hmm. dropped. And if I dropped enough, but the screen would follow me down. So if I dropped where I didn't fall and die, I would have to go back up myself, uh, which... You know, was, isn't the case in co-op, but we'll get to that. Um, yeah. So those or are you like, could swim to the person, too. Uh, like, you could swim to that stand thing, or you could swim to the actual person. You can? Like, if the person is like, yeah, like, yeah, you remember, like, because so there was one part where we were, like, kind of waiting on you that you couldn't get by, but we were just standing there in case you needed to touch us to come back to life. Right. So you got the standee part, and you can touch touch the actual player to come back to life. Right. I never really used the standees. I, I I figured out how to use it once and never again. So you guys were on the online part. You guys were my standees, mm. and I did like yeah, how yeah, 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 yeah. the players would wait. Like you would see all the players running alongside you, and then like the the ghost people. Like if they knew the board, they would show you where yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the the things were. Yeah, I would could, see yeah, Young yeah. Money pushing nothing, and I was like, what is Young Money? pushing i was like oh he's pushing this so i did like that but i didn't like not being able to pull anybody in because i am a hard carry on mario games and i could not beat mario wonder on my own without help um is there anything else you want to talk about with the online yeah let me say also the standees like how you saw young money pushing that block they can be used as like tip features like you could you know how they have, have invisible blocks mm-hmm. like once you discover that block you put a standee there so somebody knows that, hey jump here you might hit something you know what i mean uh-huh. like the standees were used as like tip items like throughout the whole game so but, like some stages i would be lost i'm like what am i supposed to do i see like a random standee i was like oh, there's got to be something there it's because it's up in the air you know what i mean and then you kind of work your way around it so yeah i, I really like the online because it wasn't just that it was ghosts it's like, all right fine they're not gonna be tangible but we will put these other things in the game to, to give clues, like, you're, you're not going to get carried hardcore, but there are clues. And then they did have the light um, communications with the smiley face, the, like, cheering thing and all that stuff. So I, I, I liked it a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with it. I'm down rocking with it. And I'll, I'll make some more points on it later on as we get into the base of the game. Right. So um, what, I t- what I didn't do with the online was allow randoms. Everybody who joined my lobby, I, did you play with randoms? Because I never did. Did you I play did. with randoms? What about Nako? Uh, no, I just played it locally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let. So speaking of locally, let's let's get into that. Let's get into the local part of the multiplayer, and that's where Monaco came in. He came and he played the Mario Wonder with me, local co-op to, to, to hardcore co- parkour ha- carry me. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to talk about um, the how the local co-op is versus? Well, you can't versus, but how the local co-op plays? Um, yeah. So locally, it's it's very challenging. I will say that much. Um, when you're playing this game locally, you have up to four people. So if you have more than just, let's say, yourself, the max amount of players you can have are four players. And, you know, you have, you know, from Mario to Yoshi to a rabbit with a ski mask that apparently there are certain there are the base characters that can die. And then you have certain characters that can't die. And the difference between, I would say, from local to online is that you have to share the same screen. Now, that would be OK but the issue with local local play is that you'll have this crown like underneath like your character's icon but that crown will rotate between who's ahead or who has the the star or the object or the wonder seat or whatever have you so it's swapping out between who's the leader and who's not the leader which will get very confusing at times and since people are sharing the same screen that can also determine like who might die because they're being shoved across to the other part of the level or who might get the wonder seat just because they so 
happen to be just at the very edge of the screen, but not really with stuff like that. So you, you're going to come across some issues where, depending on who has the crown for that character, how far that character is going to go compared to the rest of the people you're playing with, or how many people are going to die because you went so far ahead because you're the leader of the group. So screen sharing and determining who's the crown leader or not is definitely the difference between local and online, I would say. Right. Um, and we did run into issues with that here in my home uh, where like my daughter wanted to be the one in charge but at one point I was for some reason at one point I was the one in charge because usually it's the person who grabs the, 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 the flag on the top pole on the previous board yeah. becomes the leader of the party for the next board and I don't know how I got it because I usually was on the bottom of that flag pole but she super like got annoyed with me that I was going super slow because I'm a very cautious jumper and everybody's like all right let's go you are holding up the, the game and I'm like well I want to make sure I don't die <laughs> Like, I'm trying not to die. And if you fall, somebody else grabs a crown. I mean, they automatically give it to... I don't know who they give it to automatically, but... I, I really don't know how that crown system works, other than how you said, the, grabbing the Wonder Seed or grabbing being on top of the flagpole. But it could get really frustrating if the right person like me is, is the leader of the pack because then the other players get super frustrated with how that other plays because like when my son had it he was like i'm out of here i'm gone and like he would like all of us you see us in ghost mode trying to catch up to him oh, because man, man, he ran swimming. up ahead exactly and then you know and if he dies and we're all in ghost mode well now we lost four lives not just one not two not three i did like how we didn't die like our lives if there was another player still alive so we didn't go through lives as much unless we all died if we all died then that was four lives at once which was a little bit hard at the end because we kept dying all at once we had like maybe five lives at the end of the game uh left but um uh, anything else you want to add? No, I was just saying, um, the last thing at the when it comes to the local plays, um, there, like, um, a gamer guy was saying, there is a ghost mode, but it can be a bit tricky because you have to hold ZL and ZR at the same time, and then it takes like maybe two to three seconds to activate, and then you can sometimes reach to the person that's not a ghost. But the issue is, if everybody's a ghost, and even if you activate it through the controls, and it's game over, and then there would be times where sometimes you have to activate as a ghost for the player to hit you higher up to like get let's say like a wonder seed or a purple coin or stuff of that nature so the ghost mechanic kind of works differently when you're locally because sometimes you can use it as a platform from real players to ghost players and then other times you can just use it to just try to traverse through the level and try to catch up with somebody if you can't hit like a certain ledge or a platform basically right uh, do you wanted to add something to the yeah, local? Yeah, nurse? one of one of my issues with the locals is so, right, so like you said, you got to share lives. You, like if you, you, the group together has ten lives. Now me, I'm not dying a lot. My little nieces <laughs> and nephews, y'all eating the lives up, man. I, I, I only eat one life. You eating eight lives up? Stop dying. So that's my <laughs> my local just like, hey, we sharing lives. <laughs> Tighten up out here, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at Mars that. Be- I don't, if it's gonna be local call, hey, I get 10 lives, you get 10, you get 10, and then we go like that. But when it comes to shit, it get, it get frustrating. Like, hey man, stop dying, bro. <laughs> Oh man, Mars runs a tight ship. He's like, don't die. You don't die. You come sharing, fly to me. You know, That's it. Or get some one ups, you know what I mean? Get your extra man. <laughs> Oh, that was hilarious. Uh, and now, um, so Mars is the only one of us three that played at least a little bit solo. Do you want to hit on solo for a little bit? Yeah, uh, solo is not too much different. Uh, it's the same as that game, but you're by yourself. So you're responsible for your dying, you know, how fast you move. Just as fun to me, like, because there would be some times like where I was, I forget my Wi-Fi is not on. And I was like, man, it's kind of lonely. Like, damn, where's everybody out here? But I was like, okay, this is the, the, the you know, non-solo player pretty much. But it's, it's, it's the exact same game. It's, in general, it's a good game. We're going to go over there, right? In general, it's a very good game. So, I mean, you can get past it. But, yeah, it's the exact same game minus, like, playing with your friends. So, I would actually recommend playing with the Wi-Fi or with your friends versus solo because it's just more, you know, there's more going on. Like, okay, cool. Oh, okay, you do this. Because there's a lot of discoveries in the game, which you might 
bypass, even like on the on the um, mini map, right? Like there's things to be discovered on the mini map, and you be like, damn, why are they even over there? That's a that's a cloud for me, you know what I'm saying? Then you go discover it. So yeah, if you want to like the fullness of it, the real game is not even solo player. It's playing with your peoples. That's the real game. Well, so then then you don't even have like those little standees that come in with other people because your well, Wi-Fi. I, think, I mean, they wouldn't. Yeah, I think you can still put them down because they're collectibles and stuff. But they don't. They wouldn't do it because you can turn your Wi-Fi on. You know what I mean? Like I think you can turn it on like in a stage if I if I remember like by hitting the. Pause there was button. like a little. But you could definitely do it outside. Yeah, there was a little Wi-Fi antenna thing outside on every. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Map. So you could like still it's still as the, the game is equally accessible. Minus just having the people there, like having, because sometimes you would think you're playing solo mode because everybody doesn't beat the stage and you're by yourself. So it kind of feels like that too. So if you're ever in a moment like that, that's exactly how it feels in solo mode. Yeah, that 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 was definitely me. If you guys didn't wait, I was like, where are my peoples? But because I was like doing a wander <laughs> yeah. thing and everybody had already yeah. gotten to the end of that wander yeah. part and I was mm-hmm. doing the back. I was like, where is everybody? Mm-hmm. I'm used to all these little... So, it's, so you play solo mode, <laughs> then. You don't even know it. <laughs> all right, Eddie, before we get into our ratings, is there anything else we want to talk about before the ratings? I, I want to say something real quick. I think, I think one of the charms about the game is that there's no time, right? So like, like how you're playing local co-op, that would have been... We already like talk about the pressure of the game. Some people play fast, slow. You got share lives. Now imagine a timer being on the game. Like you got 99 seconds or whatever seconds it is. So you say you like to take your time a little bit. Everybody, no, man, we got to go right out of time, man. So I think, I think they kind of always took the timer out of Mario, but I think taking that timer out is like a very good thing. It's like, you don't need the timer there. So I think that kind of, Loki adds to the charm that people forget about. I think not having the timer in the game is a big deal. Did all the 2D Marios always have it? Was this the first 2D Mario without it? No, didn't, didn't, um, cause y'all play 3D. Did, did that have a timer in it? No, I'm talking about the 2D Marios, like all the. the oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I, can't, I can't, I'm not gonna say off rip, but I think if, if maybe the one before didn't have a timer, but then prior to, yeah, you know, they were timed up. Mm, that's probably why I didn't, didn't like the Mario games, cause I can't do yeah, yeah, anything yeah, like, fast. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything else you want to add, Monaco, before we get to the ratings? I have two, actually. <laughs> um, it actually reminded me of the two things that I left out. One, the controls, because um, on this, <laughs> I played with the Pro mm-hmm. Controller. There, your controls can change, or not really change, but you hold Y to run, but then jump can also be B or R, and that was really confusing because, like, let's say if I get the bubble power up. I'm, I'll press R because that's the one I'm using. You know, I'm used to jumping. But if I have the bubble power up, sometime I might kill an enemy, and then the other people I'm playing with might have to like use like a, a shield, not a shield, but like uh, what do you call those things? Like uh, I keep on wanting to say shield, but like um, like a shell essentially, or like wanting to get a power up. And because I have the bubble thing equipped, it might ruin that for them. So like the controls things was like kind of an issue for me because like. I'm using Z, but you can also use B to jump. And then having to hold the Y button to run was like very confusing. And then the last thing was when it takes a screenshot of whenever you clear a level, it's only per level. So you can't go back. It's not like it doesn't have like a save catalog of like all the pictures it screenshots. Like once it takes a picture and you go to the next level and complete it, you can't go back to the previous picture it took a screenshot of. So that was the only two things I had left over. We forgot to mention the power ups. Guys, there are two different power ups that were added into this game there was the the acorn thing i don't know if it had a specific name and we had the the actual elephant mario the elephant mario yeah elephant yeah i'm gonna I'm be honest that elephant mario was less <laughs> a tr- no and the bubble feature was that was that new yeah there, there, there was a, there was more there was more than that game where there was the bubble there was the um what the drill the drill in the, the ground drill. the drill yeah yeah the uh so you had the elephant power up the bubble power up the drill power up and then your classic flower and star if you you know star power up right right and right. then the, the big map the mushroom I'm, a, I'm gonna be honest the drill one was my favorite one because i can hide from enemies uh, <laughs> i don't think the, the elephant uh, was as useful as they were trying to make it seem and like because that was the one that was highlighted in all the commercials yeah um, They're probably just a marketing, a marketing angle. Yeah. All right. I mean, I, that's the only thing I wanted to mention because we didn't mention it this whole time that. Well, there yeah, were three but now you had the power ups. You had the power ups, but then you had the badges too. Oh. Like, hey, I get an extra jump. 
Hey, I can do an extra wall wall jump climb. Hey, I can be Spider Man, do the little Spider Man jump. Hey, I want to start with a mushroom. I think the power and I, I I beat the game and didn't even get all the badges. So same, yeah, same, same, same. Either. We only I'm gonna be honest. We only used one badge that whole time, and it was the one that you glide. So that you yeah, don't yeah, fall. <laughs> that was to the- me. That's the power up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a power up. Yeah, that's the only one we used, and that was the favorite one. <laughs> that hat was super tough. Sure is. Okay. So, um, all right. So let's get into our rating. So I'm gonna go last. I'm gonna let you two go first. Um, we'll let Mars handle rating first. Monaco second, and then I'll go last with my rating. The rating is from one to five. So five being the best and one being the worst. What would you rate Mario Wonder? Now, you know me, I don't think I ever, I review a game, it's a five-star game. Now, let me say, let me just make some quick points on my rating. The controls are butter, the controls are smooth, the controls are the bomb. I'm gonna have to go into a little detail later, but just know the controls are the truth. Um, that like the, the music on the stage, like each stage has its own life. The enemies have their own life. The, each world has its own life. Like. There's just some stages that are just like musicals. There's like, forget it being a stage, it's like a pure musical. Sure is. And that they could have really cheesed it up with like how they did in, uh, I think the Super Mario that was first on the 3DS where you just get a big mushroom and that's just throughout the whole game. I get a big mushroom and I'm just big from world one to world eight. And this one, each world has its own thing with the Wonder Seed. They could have easily cheesed up the Wonder Seed as like one gimmick through the whole game. No, each stage, the Wonder Seed does its own thing. I think that's great. Um, I, it just, this game just has so much time. This was like my game of the year for me in 2023. So definitely five star rating. I'm saying it this too. I'm gonna say this too. This is like general public. I always struggle between the best Mario games is Super Mario Super Mario 3 and Super Mario World. I always go back and forth on that. Now Super Mario Wonder is in that mix. It's like, dang, like no other Super Mario could ever really get up there. They've been good Super Marios, but this one's in the mix now. So you got Super Mario World, Super Mario 3, and now Super Mario Wonder is in that mix in my opinion. Five star rating, man. Wait, so is that between the 2Ds or all the Marios, like even the 3D Marios? All the Marios. When I do that, I say all the Marios. All Marios, point blank, period. It's minus Kart. <laughs> Mario, you know <laughs> minus, <laughs> minus Mario Kart. Mario Kart don't go with that list. Yeah, minus, minus the Kart. That's a whole different thing. But yeah. All right. All right. Uh, how about you, Monaco? What would you rate uh, Mario Wonder for us? Uh, mine's is a, a, a tad Uh-oh. bit different. Um, <laughs> yeah, mine's is a tad bit different. Um, but my experience was also different too. But um, uh, now, in all honestly, um, I would give Mario Wonder a one if I had to be honest. Um, the reason why I give it a one is just for a lot of reasons. Um, it was definitely the screen sharing for me and the switching of the crowns between the players. I feel like that really determines who dies and who doesn't. And the fact that it's it's random, like let's say player four, you know, after getting the flag and let's say the wonder seed, you will have the crown, but then that crown can switch at any point in time in the level. So it's like, well, who's the leader now? And it's just like, well, that person's the leader and then they control the screen and that screen control can really determine, okay, am I a go? you know, having been the ghost or, you know, missing out on the wonder seat, which are important to clear the levels and stuff like that. And uh, not only that, but um, I feel like that it just wasn't <laughs> for me, for a personal experience, it just wasn't as wonderful as I thought it was. I um, I definitely played a lot of like other Mario games, especially the 2D ones, but this one just, it kind of felt like it was kind of a short experience to be fair I, I definitely do think that my my experience from it definitely like would hinder it was like the screen sharing like now granted i don't expect there to be like split screen or nothing but that does like play a huge factor of like okay lives you know how many times you're dying how do you get you know who's going to get reach the flag before the time limit kicks in and then you know you're a ghost on the other side of the screen like the screen sharing the sharing of the crown um, kind of how short the, the gameplay and the level sections are, it definitely um, determines of like you know what your play style is and like how you think of this game as a whole. Um, I hate to say it's the worst <laughs> one, but um, just from a person, no, just from the person, my personal experience, <laughs> just from my personal experience, I didn't have yeah. too much fun with it. Um, and then I think the other thing too was like the the little flowers that like pop up during the worlds. Like sometimes they would give you a hint. Oh, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then other times they would just be talking. I was like, okay, I feel like this is kind of, <laughs> kind 
kind of unnecessary. Like so, um, I. I really do wish I saw why this won Family Game of the Year at the Game Awards, but from a local personal experience, I would have to get Mario Wonder one out of five. Okay. Well, so we got the best and we got the worst. I guess I'm tie. I'm tiebreaker, <laughs> huh? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna preference this, guys. I'm gonna preference this. I am not a platform player, so I am gonna give it a little leeway, but not much because <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a three. Um, I played both modes, so I had both experiences. I didn't like that you couldn't create more than one save file per game, per account. So I had to create a whole new account so that me and Monaco can play versus the one me and Mars were playing online. I had to create a whole new account, which I didn't like. Like, put more save files. You even, even, even the Nintendo version has three save files. Why didn't this one have more than one save file? That was one of my bigger, bigger gripes. The other one, obviously, where is like where zones go fast and they expect players to catch up if the other player is the crown and you could kill everybody in your party because they can't catch up to you because of the speeding things and they can't fly fast enough to try to catch up to you because you're like on these rhinoceroses that run um that you you eat up lives like that it's not it's not even the person's fault that they're they didn't get on the rhinoceros you got on the rhinoceros and then wonder seated up and everybody died because of it so i didn't like that it auto killed a lot of people a lot of our lives for us because of situations like that and like i said before when we were playing the online i wish i could have had somebody come in my game with me like we did with the 3d mario i get i mean i actually before you mentioned it i didn't know that multiplayer wasn't gonna be a thing in this game so i didn't know that's why it was mm -hmm. added the way it was but yeah, i always yeah, thought sure. multiplayer was gonna be added because if the wii version of mario 3d when it came to the switch had online multiplayer activated why wouldn't this game so i i mean and i'm coming from that game i actually like that game a lot more than this one where and i was being carried i didn't want to be carried sometimes but and that was gonna be my rule don't carry me unless i ask but there are some times where i'm such a bad player i kind of need to be carried and when i was playing online i couldn't be and when i was playing on co-op i was being killed so like there was like no middle ground for me in that that's why i give it exactly a middle ground score and that's why i give mario wonder a3 um any last minute thoughts now, you know i got <laughs> okay mars the uh what I was what I was gonna say is yeah I like, I understand like if if I was playing the game I can't play the game local co-op so I understand like if that's the only way you play yet yeah, most definitely one star just like when I did on Super Mario Odyssey when they was like it's got two player mode and the second player was a cap like no nah, this ain't two like this is whack if this was how the game was yeah definitely one star so I I get it I understand so I was like yeah this is why it's important like it, it changes the whole perspective of the game on what mode you play so uh, i think that, that's very critical all right i think that's it for us um those were our thoughts guys i hope you're not too mad at either of us um so we'll let everybody give you guys their exit tickets starting with mars and then Mark monaco you're next all right uh mars aka lady james signing out uh, Mario Wonder 5 stars Holler at me on the game I beat the game But I'm down to play it again Check me out on uh, All the links that tip, uh, That uh, Gamer got me hooked up on Alright Can I go? No, um, thank you so much, Nintendo Gamer Girl, for having me for this review of Mario Wonder. Um, again, my YouTube channel name is Divine Cummings Voice Acting, and my Twitter handle is Divine Cummings VoiceOver, as long as any other social medias that she has linked in the description, because my account can't do that anymore. Oh, so, no. Uh, but thank you for having me for this Mario Wonder review. <laughs> You're more than welcome. I'm happy you guys both joined me. It was a last minute review, but I'm glad we got it out there. Hopefully, this will go up very soon. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any, uh, anything you want to say about what we said on this review write them in the comments below whether you agree or disagree with any of our comments on the game thanks for watching guys happy gaming bye ggs <laughs>